Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Uh, my name is Harrison Hood, and I'm an actor. I also direct, and I produce, and I make music, and I'm just doing creative things all the time. So I've done a lot of kids shows. Um, I did a Netflix show called Some Assembly Required. And I also did a show in Canada. It's an educational youth show called Finding Stuff Out that I hosted. And so now I'm making another kids show. Um, but this time I'm more behind the camera. And it's like directing and producing it. And it's called Stories of Kindness. It's a little web series. So I was approached by Andy at the WITS programs, which is a, it's a foundation and program in Canada, and it's across 1,300 schools here. Um, and it's an anti-bullying acronym. So it stands for uh, walk away, ignore, talk about it, seek help. And I grew up with it in elementary school. So when he approached me and said, hey, we have this show idea and we need help making it, um, what do you think? And I was like, yeah, like that's totally something I'm down to do and, and down to make. So the idea of the show, Stories of Kindness, is just sharing stories and getting kids to share stories, especially right now during isolation and you know lockdowns and various COVID-19 restrictions. I think it's really important that we're giving kids opportunities to do something fun and creative and just share their stories and share kindness and share positivity in the world. I've produced short films before and the thing with that is it's more controlled and like, you know, it was before COVID restrictions and it wasn't done remotely. So I had my team and it was like, let's come together and make this thing. And there's a script and this is very different where, first of all, there, Dakota and I, we wrote scripts, but they were pretty loose because we, you can't really script an interview and we didn't want to do that either. It's, I think for kids especially, it's just really intimidating and not as fun, um, especially for this format. So we didn't want to like really script it. We basically had like guidelines for each episode and we had like a list of questions for each interview and, and um, we had a script for Travis our host. But other than, other than that, it was like, hey, like, if you have anything you want to talk about or any other questions, like, or the conversation gets off topic, just keep going with it. Like, if it, go, if it gets too far, we'll get you back on track. But like, don't worry about it. Because basically, we had these kids and the, and the celebrity guests have like, you know, an hour, sometimes an hour and a half conversation. And we cut it down to like 10 minutes. So yeah, they, you know, sometimes they were just talking about life. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, working remotely, the challenges I had, there is a few. I mean, it's just hard. I think it's just hard directing something when I had three teams, essentially. I had like three separate teams. So I had Leah Johnstone out in Nova Scotia shooting with Travis, our host. And then I had Sydney and Victoria shooting. She's a high school student shooting our uh, Wits of the Walrus segment which is super fun. And then like Dakota and I were organizing these Zoom interviews and people are everywhere. So it's like, hey, do you have a good internet connection? Do you have uh, like, what kind of camera do you have? Like, uh, what's your background? What's your like, what's your house look like? Like all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, just figuring that out was a, was a challenge in itself sometimes and setting up, you know, we're working in multiple time zones. So like that was another challenge too with our guests and our hosts. And like sometimes our guest is three hours ahead or whatever. So there's little things like that, that, that were not like super challenging, but definitely throw different little um, wrenches into your plans sometimes. Um, and then taking all that from a post-production standpoint, like producing it, and putting all, taking all that footage from like four or five different sources and then putting it together and giving it to our editor who is also like, I'm not working with the editor in person either, or sometimes I've edited myself, but I had an editor on this project named Shun, he was awesome. But like getting that to him and then having VFX done somewhere else and then having sound done like all remote is like, that, that kind of stuff was definitely trickier than usual, um, at least on this project. Um, 
so yeah, it was fun. It was fun to figure out and it's possible. So yeah. The Wits up the Walrus. I found this out during development with Andy at the Wits program. I like barely remember it. Maybe the walrus was around when I was a, when I was a kid, but their mascot is this walrus. And the first thing I'm like, we have to have that in the show. Like, I don't know how we need it. And he goes, Andy's sitting in his office in Victoria. And he goes, I have this, I have a mascot costume. We have the walrus costume. And he, we go, what, what do you mean? And he pulls it out of the back room and it's like this giant walrus mascot thing. And I'm like, what? Like, we need to use this. This is hilarious. I love this. So we have this walrus mascot and I was like, we can create a segment. I was like, oh, like we just started flowing with ideas. And I was like, we ended up landing on this thing where we're like, we can cut to this segment with Wits Up the Walrus where he's like in a real live scenario or whatever, or dealing with something. And like, he's this voice that we can like have in the show. And I think it was, yeah, it's one of my favorite parts of the show. <laughs> I'm like, I love this walrus segment. So we like took whatever the theme of the episode was, we found a problem around that. So if it's like cyberbullying, it was like, okay, well, what's relevant right now? It's like, well, maybe there's kids getting bullied on TikTok or like mean comments. So like, let's have wits up dealing with that. Like he posted a TikTok and like is, is having to deal with that. So like, that's in one of our episodes. And so every episode's theme is relating to w the problem that Wits Up has and how he's dealing with it or how somebody can help him deal with that, right? Man, I've been acting, I've been acting for a while now. It feels weird. I feel like I, it feels like yesterday I just started acting and I remember like booking my first part and everything, but I was like 14 and now I'm 20, I just turned 25. So I've been acting for before that I was doing classes. I've been acting for like 12, 13 years. Um, but some assembly was such a unique, like incredible experience. Cause I remember growing up being like, I want to work on a show like this or like whatever, like I was watching Disney channel and watching family channel in Canada and, and um, YTV and like Nickelodeon and all those shows. So when I had the opportunity to audition for some assembly, just being able to audition was super fun. And it was like a dream come true when I, when I ended up booking the part. So, and I was working with the same show creators and producers that, you know, I've created all these shows that I like loved. So, and still love, but yeah, so it was just such an incredible experience. And I'd never, up until that point, I actually had, ne this is kind of weird. I'd, I'd been an actor in things like I hosted Finding Stuff Out and I'd done a couple shows, but um, I guess right before, oh, sorry, right before booking some assembly, I had done this show called Spooksville. And that was my first time like working with other people my age when I was like a teenager. And it was so much fun. And I was like, oh, it'd be so cool to do a show with like, you know, like I just saw how close the Spooksville cast was. And I'm, I'm friends with the Spooksville cast to this day, which is really cool because I only done like several episodes, not the whole season with them. And I was like, it'd be so cool to like have like a little on set, like, friend group and like that'd be so fun and um so when some assembly happened we you know all, all of us booked that and we all became really close really fast and they're like lifelong friends like colton and sydney and i hang out all the time <laughs> like we always are on zoom calls i just I, I got travis turner a part of a part of this he's voicing the walrus and dylan's on the show as well so it's like we're all connected still and we all stay in touch and i think that's just so awesome like i love that like yeah, that, that's, it's literally like, that's such a huge part of my life and always will be now because we're like, we're all close friends. So it's awesome. And I, it was such a good experience. And obviously being able to work on a show with those cr show creators and, and playing Bowie was so much fun. Like every day was fun. There was never a day where I was like, I mean, there was days where I was stressful maybe, or like I didn't sleep enough, but like, that, like it was fun. Like it was always fun. So I have a lot, I have a lot of things on the go. I'm like, so I've been more busy, like in the last, I haven't like done so much acting stuff in the last two years, but I've been so busy writing and developing projects. And, and that's kind of the next thing for me. I, um, I'm developing stuff that I want to act in. So, uh, as well. So I'm still doing that. Um, so one project that I have is called Goat Town and I've co-written, co co-wrote, 
I co-wrote that with um, Dakota, who helped me write Stories of Kindness. And so that's about my hometown and where I grew up and, and this crazy thing in my um, grad year that my grad year was doing when I was in high school, which is called Death Race. And it's like a crazy grad scavenger hunt. So th that's the film. It's like a coming of age comedy. So I'm, uh, I've written that and we're we just started pitching it like two weeks ago with my manager. Um, so hopefully that happens in the next year. We'll see. And then also we have a thriller movie that we wrote two years ago together, Dakota and I. He's like my go-to writing partner and we just work well together. <laughs> so him and I have written this thriller and we're rewriting that and we have some opportunities maybe in the pipeline for that. There's nothing concrete yet, so I can't really say. Um, and then with Stories of Kindness, this popped up and I'm like, this is such a cool show and I would love to make more episodes for it. Maybe even develop it into like a full on like half hour TV episode because right now it's just 10, 15 minute web shows. So whether that's do more web, web, web episodes or develop it into a TV show, I think there's a lot of cool opportunities for stories of kindness as well. So that's something I am uh, just starting to put in the oven or whatever, or bake. <laughs> starting to develop that and, and think of ideas and, and see what we can do moving forward with it as well. Uh, I have social media like everybody. So uh, it's just my name, Harrison Hood. My last name is H-O-U-D-E. And you can find me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or where else? YouTube. I post YouTube videos sometimes. So yeah, if you keep up with me on there, you'll, uh, you'll know when, when stuff is happening. Also storiesofkindness.ca for the show. You can watch it there for free. And there's new episodes every Saturday right now until May 1st. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.